photosynthesis cannot take place because in this equation here is the photosynthesis equation that plants use to make sugar and oxygen but um, they so from ca carbon dioxide and water with the support of light sugar and oxygen will be made but with that water here the whole process is ruled so the whole process cannot take place so for all of those reasons that's why we see that water is very important so that's why we did our study about the role of water on growth of wetland plants so in this picture is the the species of our study so its common name is yellow water crowfoot and it's a perennial aquatic um, flowering plants and the flower is yellow very pretty with five sepals but uh, when we were doing this experiment there was no blooming so we couldn't take any picture of it to show you how the flower look like but this flower is attract can attract uh, nectar eating insects so this plant is very interesting to study that's why we picked it for our study and the colonies of these plants is not you cannot find a lot of them in Michigan so only 13 out of 83 counties that have um, the colonies of this species so the dots in his pictures here that indicate the counties that have this species so our hypothesis if water is the most important factor that determine the breast the growth of wetland plants then the height of plant that submerge in the water will be higher than the height of plant that non submerge in the water so for our prediction we put it in the graph here so you can very easy to see the mean height of plants in centimeter so we predicted that uh, the mean height of plants that non that submerge in the water is about nine centimeter in average which is significantly higher than than those that non-submerge which is about uh, five centimeter